a CD. Yeah, you know, at the, at the office. So that one day the office calls and I go down and pick it up. You want to know what's on the CD? Nothing. No, the Don Roy roast. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets back from England, you know, we're going to have a little conversation. <laughs> so no pictures. You know, no, actually, we're going to play the Don Roy thing at the end of this just to <laughs> I hope to embarrass Lynn and Dee Dee for just knowing him. <laughs> but anyway, so we have no pictures, you know, allegedly. We have uh, no music. And so I said, uh, Lily, look, I'm really in a fix here. Maybe you could talk to Doris, woman to woman, and see if there's any amusing antidotes that we could share with the group, right? And she says, okay, I'll do that. So she does. And she says, Doris, you know, did anything happen funny with Greg you know, over the last 40 years or so that I could possibly think? <laughs> Doris looks her right in the eye and she says, no, I don't have it. <laughs> and Lily says, you know, well, what do you mean? Lily's married to me, you know, and this is a daily occurrence for her. <laughs> so she says, what do you mean you don't have any? And Doris looks at her right in the eye again, she says, Craig is perfect. <laughs> so we'll see about that, all right? Okay. And then, this is my favorite part of the whole thing. Because we don't have any baby pictures, I mean, honestly, we do not have any baby pictures. I tell my confidant, Dottie Wheeler, I say, can you please take a, any baby picture that you can find in any of the rows and Photoshop Craig's face onto the baby? I said, that will be funny and that will get us off to a good start. And there's this long pause, right? And I said, Dottie, any picture, any baby, I don't care, Prince of Wales, put Craig's face on the baby and that's how we'll get started. And more, another pause. I said, Dottie, did you hear what I said? And finally she says, well, she says, I have a picture that I'd like to use. She says, what's that? She said, it's a baby bear, and I call him Sea Bear, and I'd like to use that picture. I said, Dottie, Dottie, a baby with Craig's face on it. And she goes, all right, right? Like Alvin and the Chipmunks, you know? And I had this funny feeling, so let's take a look. At, at what what happened with my request? Go ahead, Doug. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can hear me in the back or if you can see. But do you see this little tail growing out? Of me? Huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. Are you okay, honey? Yes. All right. Can you see okay? Yes. Let's let's go to the next slide. Okay, now this is an unreached. Okay, okay, all right. It looks it looks okay. Right out here about oh, oh you know this thing. All right, now now but look closer. This is Craig with his little brother. How many mirrors does Craig have on this one? <laughs> Craig has two mirrors. How many does the little guy have? No mirrors. How many lights does Craig have on his bicycle? He has a, a front light and a back light, right? Side pull brakes. Does the little guy have anything, including brakes? <laughs> He's got nothing. Okay. So that made me think that maybe I better start taking a closer look at some of this stuff. All right. All right. What's the next? Okay. All right, I want you to remember this photograph. Because here he is, you know, with his first sailboat, looks like an all-American boy, right? Right? Just remember this. We're going to come back, and I'm going to show you that you guys, sometimes pictures can be very deceiving. All right? So what's the next one, Dottie? Right. You can see he's starting to go in a different direction. Okay. I mean, no need to worry yet, but it's not looking too good. All right. Okay. Next one. All right. 
<laughs> what does that remind you of? The Unabomber, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. All right. He liked the Unabomber look, so he kept it into adulthood, okay? But fortunately, about this time, Dora started getting involved, so that's just next. Okay? Next one. Okay. I don't know what she saw in Craig. I don't know how she even saw Craig. <laughs> Alright, next one. Okay, so it looks like she's a good influence, right? He's trimming up the hair a little bit, and the beard's, you know, coming, you know, getting a little more manageable. Okay, next one. But then Doris loses it also. Okay. So next one. So they went went down the same path, you see. It's perfect for each other. All right. Now, remember the lightning shot? Remember that? Turns out it's an illegal six-pack operation. You can see that? You see any life jackets anywhere? Huh? Okay, next one. Now, here he is. Oh, I see. I couldn't tell from my slide. I thought he was throwing stuff overboard, but it looks like he's just cooking, so we'll give him a pass on that one. Okay, next. Okay, serving alcohol without a permit. <laughs> Probably give him a pass on that one too, since it was here at BYC. Next one. All right, now this one here. I have some concerns, Greg. The, the caption on this picture said, helping Bernard with new boat. Now, I don't know if she's named Bernard <laughs> or what, but it seems to me Craig would have some explaining to do, right? <laughs> Next. Oh, and I, this is great. <laughs> Craig's caption on this one, this, the reason why this is out of order is because we just got this on Friday. Craig's caption on this was, me and my little brother talking to our parakeet. <laughs> Dottie writes me, I've never seen so many explanation points. She says, the parakeet has four paws and a tail. <laughs> I think it was a very rare breed of monkey that uh, Craig was trying to uh, hide the fact that he had it in captivity. Parakeet. Okay. Next one. But all's well that ends well, huh? Oh, right. So, here, there we go. Now we have some more presentations coming. This is not the last one. So, let's welcome our last year's Commodore, Bob Beck. Well, so you remember uh, last year, Sometimes we have to find the flaws in people to really understand them and know them, right? There was no information on our Commodore. <coughs> Couldn't figure out what he'd done, right? Does anybody know of anything he did? No. <laughs> he kept the peace. <laughs> we had no rebellions. We had nothing. Nothing. So, Gary said, you know, we don't have long, long show, so uh, is there any incidents? And I thought, well, he's an engineer. You know, engineers are kind of dry, really. Now they're gone. <laughs> Just the milk back there isn't. <laughs> but everybody else, the engineer, pretty bad, right? They, they think different, right? So I had one little story, and then I'll make it real quick. We're at Catalina, and... Mary and I have invited Brian, one of our past Commodores, McKenna, and Bonnie to join us. Are they here? No. No. No, they're not here. Of course not. <laughs> they know Craig. <laughs> so, we've stationed our past Commodore on the bow of the boat, and he's to pull that stick that sticks up, right? One. The wand. The wand. 
Thank you. Mr. Collins is an engineer also. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it looked like a stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the first time he got into it, I'm getting these motions this way and that way, and I thought maybe I was on the wrong side. Maybe Brian could go to the other side. You no, know? no, it has to be right there, right? And so the wind was blowing, and I was going back and forth, and I was getting direction from Brian, the engineer. <laughs> and while I was going back and forth, and this is the, the point of the story, is I got kind of sideways. Of course, not my fault, it was the wind's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a screwball award. <laughs> and Fandango was headed towards the sailors' boat. And sailors and engineers don't understand power boats, do they? No, no they, don't have, they don't understand. And so I see our Commodore, the engineer, running towards the back of his boat to stop 3,800 pounds of my boat. No fender, no nothing, outstretched hands. <laughs> And I thought, you know, maybe our expectations were too high. <laughs> Just a thought. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, we're glad you're getting that house done. That's a good deal. <laughs> Mr. Boatner, are we around here? Well, just talk among yourselves for a few minutes while <laughs> our celebrity gets ready. Take it nothing at nothing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Craig, come back and tell us how your house burnt down. <laughs> With fire. <laughs> well, is it in the Santa Ana fire? Where's <laughs> Dave? He's coming. Just take the moment. He's washing his hands now. All right, maybe what we'll do is we'll do the uh, song that Lynn and uh, Greg Frank were lucky enough to put together about five years ago. <laughs> so, go ahead. Okay, here we go. And I need a light so I can see where my speaker is. No, 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 no. Tell me when you can hear it. Commodores ain't easy to love when they're wearing three stars. They'd rather give you small talk than buy you a drink at the bar. <laughs> Get four new members and whole club costs down. Call meetings to fill up each day. At the end of his year term, if he isn't run through, he'll probably be run out of town. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be kind. Don't let them be sailors or drive on drugs. Let them wear fancy blue laser toes. <laughs> Come on, it's the venture babies grow up to be coming. Cause they'll never stay home and they're always a go. Off to the other they love. Commodores like opening days and pontification. <laughs> They'll eat all your food 
drink up all your libations. <laughs> they love the saloon and loud cannon shoot and bragging about all that they've done. When your galley is empty, they hop on their dinghy. Go find more intoxicants. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them be sailors or drive motorboats. Let them wear fancy blue blazer coats. <laughs> Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be Commodores. Cause they'll never stay home and they're always a going. Off to the opera they love. <laughs> and You know, there's times when I like the microphone, and there's other times where I wish you just wouldn't hand it back to the class. How are we doing, Jeff? We're here. Okay, here we go. Oh. That's the old soul. <laughs> Welcome, Commodore Leverall. Nice to have you with us again this evening. It seems to me you used to be much taller. <laughs> well, being Commodore is very stressful, and it takes a lot out of you. About a foot, at least. <laughs> Besides, these long board meetings lasting until midnight are very draining. <laughs> but Commodore, I heard your directors all get along and your meetings only last about an hour or so? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, it seems a lot longer. <laughs>